Following a rocky year in Hollywood, 2024 is shaping up to be a gigantic year for movies, offering an exciting and unusual mix of franchise fare and fresh original blockbusters. Here's my look at the biggest movies headed to theatres and streaming in 2024. <laughs> On January 5th, we got the latest indie horror from Blumhouse, Night Swim, produced by horror maestros Jason Blum and James Wan. Starring Wyatt Russell and Kerry Condon, this movie follows a woman terrorised by an evil spirit in her haunted swimming pool at night. On January 12th, Mean Girls marks the latest in a recent string of nostalgia remakes. Following the plot of the original 20-year-old film, which sees new schoolgirl Katie Heron targeted by girl clique The Plastics and their leader Regina George, the movie also incorporates songs from the Broadway musical. It stars Anjuri Rice, Renee Rapp, Alihi Cravalho and Tina Fey. Also on January 12th, it's our annual dose of Jason Statham in his latest over-the-top action thriller, The Beekeeper, directed by Fury's David Ayer. Here, Statham, a former operative of a powerful secretive organisation known as Beekeepers, goes on a brutal campaign for vengeance. Just another Saturday night for Statham. This one also stars Jeremy Irons and Mini Driver. On February 2nd, it's action comedy Argyle, which sees an introverted spy novelist drawn into the activities of a sinister underground syndicate. It's described as a razor-witted, reality-bending, globe-encircling spy thriller. And with Kingsman's Matthew Vaughan at the helm, you know we're in for a killer ride. It's headed by a stellar cast including Bryce Dallas Howard, Henry Cavill, John Cena, Sam Rockwell, Ariana DeBose, Dua Lipa, Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara, Sophia Batella, and Samuel L. Jackson. It's also set to drop on Apple TV Plus soon after. Also on February 2nd, Netflix will release the latest DreamWorks animated feature, Orion and the Dark, which sees a young boy completely consumed by irrational fears paid a visit by his worst fear, the Dark, who whisks him away on a roller coaster ride around the world to prove there is nothing to be afraid of. It stars the voice talents of Jacob Tremblay and Paul Walter Hauser. On February 9th, it's Lisa Frankenstein, the latest film by Academy Award winning screenwriter Diablo Cody and the directorial debut of Zelda Williams. Starring Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse, it's a coming of rage love story, which follows a misunderstood teenager and her high school crush, who happens to be a handsome corpse, as they embark on a murderous journey to find love and happiness. On February 14th, Sony Pictures offers up the latest instalment in their Spider-Man universe, Madam Web, a standalone origin story of one of Marvel Publishing's most enigmatic heroines, a paramedic in Manhattan who may have clairvoyant abilities. The movie stars Dakota Johnson as Cassandra Webb, alongside Sidney Sweeney, Isabella Merced and Emma Roberts as a team of powerful Spider-Women. Sounds like a great way to spend Valentine's Day. Also on February 14th, it's the latest true life biopic, Bob Marley, One Love. The movie celebrates the life and music of an icon who inspired generations through his revolutionary music and messages of love and unity. It stars Kingsley ben as Marley alongside Lashana Lynch. On February 23rd, Ethan Cohen delivers his latest comedy caper, Drive Away Dolls. It follows an uninhibited free spirit and her demure friend, who both, in search of a fresh start, embark on an impromptu road trip where they cross paths with a group of inept criminals. The cast includes Margaret Qualley, Geraldine Viswanathan, Beanie Feldstein, Pedro Pascual, Coleman Domingo and Matt Damon. On March 1st, it's the year's first mega blockbuster, Dune Part 2. This next chapter of Warner Brothers' epic adaptation of Frank Herbert's literary classic continues the mythic journey of Paul Atreides. As facing a choice between the love of his life and the fate of the known universe, he endeavours to prevent a terrible future only he can foresee. The movie returns Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, Stalin Skarsgård and Dave Bautista to their roles adding Florence Pugh, Austin Butler, Leia Sido and Christopher Walken to the ensemble. On March 3rd, Adam Sandler once again trades comedy for tragedy in his latest project for Netflix, Spaceman. 
In this sci-fi drama, Sandler stars as an astronaut who realises his wife, played by Carrie Mulligan, might not be waiting for him when he returns to Earth. Desperate to fix things, he is helped by a mysterious ancient creature he finds hiding in the bowels of his ship. The movie also stars Paul Dano, Kunal Nayar and Isabella Rossellini. On March 7th, Zac Efron and John Cena star in Peter Farrelly's Ricky Stanicki, which drops on Prime Video. The movie sees three best friends who all their life have blamed their misbehaviour on the imaginary Ricky Stanicki, but when their partners become suspicious, they hire a washed up actor to bring him to life. I'm particularly excited for this one as it was filmed about 10 minutes from my house. On March 8th, it's the long-awaited Kung Fu Panda 4 from DreamWorks. Jack Black returns to the role of Poe, who finds himself promoted to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace and must quickly find and train a new dragon warrior, all the while warding off the evil schemes of the shape-shifting chameleon. Dustin Hoffman, James Hong and Brian Cranston also return, while Kihi Kwan, Aquafina and Viola Davis join along for the ride. Also on March 8th, Millie Bobby Brown stars in Damsel from Netflix. The movie is set to flip the script on the traditional fairy tale, as Brown plays Princess Alady who has to save herself when her Prince Charming sacrifices her to a dragon, brutally interrupting her happily ever after. It also stars Angela Bassett and Ray Winstone. Also on March 8th, it's another original horror flick from Blumhouse, Imaginary. The movie is said to tap into the innocence of imaginary friends, as a woman returns to her childhood home to find her stepdaughter has developed an eerie attachment to Chauncey, a stuffed bear she finds in the basement. While time with Chauncey begins playful, it becomes increasingly sinister. The movie stars DeWanda Wise. Also on March 8th, A24 will release muscular indie thriller Love Lies Bleeding, directed by St Maud's Rose Glass. It stars Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien as partners whose love ignites violence and pulls them deep into the web of a criminal family. It's said to have a vaulting imagination, packing a gut punch unlike any other. It also stars Dave Franco, Jenna Maloney and Ed Harris. On March 15th, Arthur the King races into theatres. Based on a true story, Mark Wahlberg plays pro-adventure racer Michael Light, who forms a strong bond with a scrappy stray dog named Arthur. Together they join each other in an epic endurance race in the Dominican Republic. It also stars Natalie Emmanuel and Simu Liu. On March 21st, Prime Video launches Roadhouse, starring Jake Gyllenhaal as Edward Dalton, an ex-UFC fighter who finds himself working at a rowdy bar in the Florida Keys, where things are not as they seem. It is of course a remake of the Patrick Swayze 1989 cult classic of the same name, and also stars Daniela Melchior, Billy Magnuson and Jessica Williams. On March 22nd, it's the next instalment in the iconic Ghostbusters franchise, Frozen Empire. For the very first time, the new and OG Ghostbusters join forces to save the world from a second ice age, after an ancient artifact unleashes an evil force. Paul Rudd, Finn Wolfhard, McKenna Grace, Logan Kim, Celeste O'Connor and Carrie Coon return as the new gen Ghostbusters from 2021's Afterlife, while Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson and Annie Potts return from the 1980s series. On March 29th, it's the next instalment in Legendary's Monsterverse, Godzilla Cross Kong, The New Empire. Following their explosive showdown, Godzilla and Kong are pitted against a colossal undiscovered hidden threat, which challenges their very existence, and our own. Heading the human cast are Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry and Dan Stevens. Of course, Godzilla and Kong star as themselves. On April 5th, 20th Century Pictures will release the next instalment in the Omen series, The First Omen, as Disney attempts to bleed dry another required franchise. In this prequel to the 1976 horror classic, a young American woman moves to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, but soon encounters a darkness that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate and causes her to question her own faith. The movie stars Nell Tiger Free, Sonia Braga, Ralph Innocent and Bill Nye. On April 19th, Netflix will release the next chapter in Zack Snyder's epic Rebel Moon Part 2 The Scargiver. Continuing the saga of Korra, the surviving warriors prepare to sacrifice everything to defend a once peaceful village, as the full force of the realm bears down on their burgeoning rebellion. 
The movie again stars Sophia Boutella, Ed Skrine, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Huseman, and Anthony Hopkins. Also on the 19th, it's Universal's latest modern take on their classic Monsters franchise with Abigail, set to be a reimagining of the 1936 feature Dracula's Daughter. After the 12-year-old daughter of a powerful underworld figure is kidnapped, captors, awaiting their $50 million ransom, start to dwindle one by one, horrifyingly discovering that they're locked inside an isolated mansion with no normal little girl. It stars Alicia Weir as Abigail, alongside Melissa Barrera, Dan Stevens, Catherine Newton, Angus Cloud, and Giancarlo Esposito. Also on April 26th, it's Civil War, the latest A24 indie from Ex Machina and Annihilation writer-director Alex Garland. In this heart-pounding, politically loaded thriller, a group of journalists travel across the United States in a race to the White House, in a near-future America balanced on the razor's edge. It stars Kirsten Dunst, Wagner Mora, Kaylee Spaney, Jesse Plemons, and Nick Offerman. On April 26th, it's Challengers, a romantic comedy sports drama from Luca Guadagnino. Here, a tennis player turned coach signs her husband, a Grand Slam champion, up for a challenger event, where he faces off against her former lover. It stars Zendaya, Josh O'Connor, and Mike Faist. It also features a score from Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. On May 3rd, it's The Fall Guy, the latest from former stuntman come filmmaker David Leach, director of Atomic Blonde and Bullet Train. Here, Ryan Gosling plays a past his prime stuntman who becomes the hero when he's tasked with tracking down a missing movie star and solve a conspiracy whilst working on his latest flick. We've got another killer cast here, also including Emily Blunt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Hannah Waddingham, Stephanie Hsu, Teresa Palmer, Winston Duke, and Lee Majors, the star of the original 1980s TV series that the movie is based on. New action classic Unlocked? On May 10th, it's another music biopic with Back to Black, which is set to chart the music, life and legacy of late British artist Amy Winehouse, painting a vivid, vibrant picture of the Camden street she called home and capturing the struggles of global fame, Marissa Abella steps into Winehouse's shoes. It's directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, who directed the John Lennon biopic Nowhere Boy. On May 17th, writer-director John Krasinski tackles a family comedy drama with If. This one follows a young girl who discovers she can see everybody's imaginary friends. With this newfound superpower, she embarks on a magical adventure to reconnect forgotten ifs with their kids. It stars Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski, and Kaylee Fleming, alongside the voices of Steve Carell, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Maya Rudolph, Aquafina, Vince Vaughn, John Stewart, Louis Gossett Jr., and Sam Rockwell. On May 24th, George Miller returns with the next Aussie epic, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Described as a standalone action adventure, this spin-off film is set to reveal the origins of the powerhouse Furiosa, as she is snatched from the green place of many mothers and falls into the hands of a great biker horde, led by the warlord Dementus. It stars Anya Taylor-Joy as the young Furiosa and Chris Hemsworth. Also on May 24th, The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the next instalment in the beloved franchise, hits theatres. 300 years after Caesar's reign, in a world where apes are the dominant species living harmoniously and humans have been reduced to living in the shadows, a new tyrannical ape leader builds his empire. Aiming to kick off a new Apes trilogy, it stars Owen Teague, Freya Allen, Kevin Durand, Peter McCon, and William H. Macy. Also on May 24th, the Monday-hating, lasagna-loving indoor cat Garfield is back for his very first fully animated theatrical feature. After an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, Garfield and his canine friend Odie are forced from their perfectly pampered life into joining a hilarious high-stakes heist. It stars the voice of Chris Pratt as Garfield, alongside Samuel L. Jackson, Hannah Waddingham, Nicholas Holt, Brett Goldstein, and Ving Rhames. On June 7th, the next installment in the expanding John Wick universe, Ballerina. The movie follows Rooney, a ballerina assassin who sets out to get revenge on those who murdered her family, picking up on a plot thread from John Wick 3 Parabellum. 
Anna Diarmas stars as Rooney alongside Angelica Houston, Gabriel Byrne, Lance Reddick and Keanu Reeves as John Wick. On June 14th, Pixar brings us the long-awaited Inside Out 2 exclusively to theatres. The movie returns to the mind of now teenager Riley, just as headquarters is undergoing a sudden demolition to make room for something entirely unexpected, new emotions, led by nervous newcomer Anxiety. The movie welcomes back the voices of Amy Poehler, Phyllis Smith and Louis Black, with Maya Hawke, Tony Hale and Liza LaPera joining the cast. Also on June 14th, Sony has scheduled Bad Boys 4. While nothing much has been released on this one story-wise just yet, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are returning as Detective Lieutenants Mike and Marcus, and will likely head off on another ride-or-die buddy adventure, with support from Vanessa Hudgens, Rhea Seahorn, John Sally, and DJ Khaled. One thing is for sure though, there's definitely someone over at Sony who is kicking themselves that they didn't hold off on the title Bad Boys For Life a little bit longer. On June 21st, we get The Bike Riders, which follows the rise of The Vandals, a 1960s Midwestern motorcycle club, as its members usher it from a gathering place for local outsiders into a sinister gang. Along for the ride are Austin Butler, Tom Hardy, Michael Shannon, Norman Reedus, and Jodie Comer. On June 28th, it's the next instalment in the Quiet Place franchise, A Quiet Place Day One. Designed as a spin-off prequel to the critically lauded apocalyptic duology, Day One will follow a New York woman, played by Lupita Nyong'o, navigating the first days of the alien invasion at the series center. It's set to co-star Jamon Honsu, Joseph Quinn and Alex Wolfe. Also on June 28th, Warner Brothers presents the first chapter in Kevin Costner's ambitious western epic, Horizon An American Saga. The second chapter will release less than two months later on August 16th. The film, built in the grand tradition of Warner Brothers Pictures' iconic westerns, is set to explore the lure of the Old West and how it was won and lost through the blood, sweat and tears of many. This is another one with an absolutely stacked cast, including Costner, Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Jenna Maloney, Michael Rooker, Abby Lee and Luke Wilson. While we don't have an exact date for this one just yet, Netflix is set to release the long-awaited Beverly Hills Cop 4 Axel F mid-year. The movie returns Eddie Murphy to his iconic role of Detective Axel Foley for the first time in 30 years, not counting that failed TV pilot from 2013. Back on the beat in Beverly Hills, Foley teams up with his daughter, a new partner and old pals to turn up the heat and uncover a conspiracy. Also starring are Taylor Page and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, while Judge Reinhold and John Taggart return to their classic roles. On July 3rd, Gru and the Minions return in Illumination's Despicable Me 4. While we don't know a lot on this one yet, Steve Carell has promised the movie will follow one of Gru's wildest adventures yet, as he and the family fight together in the anti-villain league. Corral is, of course, back as Gru, alongside other returning cast, Kristen Wiig, Miranda Cosgrove and Steve Coogan. Pierre Coffin is also expected to return as the Minions. On July 12th, Apple will theatrically release Project Artemis, a romantic comedy set against the backdrop of the 1960s space race. It stars Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, Jim Rash, Ray Romano and Woody Harrelson. It's also set to drop on Apple TV Plus soon after. On July 19th, it's another legacy sequel, with Twisters following the 1996 classic. Not much is known about this one other than it being a standalone film, built in the same mould of the original, which followed a pair of storm chasers testing an experimental weather alert system. No legacy cast is expected to return, but the film will star Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, Anthony Ramos, David Corrinsweet and Maura Tierney. On July 26th, it's the sole theatrical Marvel Studios release of the year, Deadpool 3. No solid details on this one either just yet, but the movie is set to see the Merc with the Mouth, played by Ryan Reynolds, head to the MCU for the first time, alongside the X-Men's Wolverine, played again by the iconic Hugh Jackman. They'll be joined by Owen Wilson as Mobius from the Loki series, and Jennifer Garner, who reprises her early 2000s role of Elektra. On August 2nd, it's the latest from horror movie maestro M. Night Shyamalan, Trap. We know absolutely 
nothing about this one yet, except that it stars Josh Hartnett and Hayley Mills. Whatever it is, I'm sure we're in for another trippy and twisty ride. On August 9th, it's the long-awaited screen adaptation of popular video game series Borderlands, directed by Eli Roth. An infamous outlaw with a mysterious past reluctantly returns to her home planet to find the missing daughter of the universe's most powerful SOB, and forms an alliance with a ragtag team of misfits to find her, battling monsters, aliens and dangerous bandits along the way. Leading the pack we have Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Jamie Lee Curtis and Ariana Greenblatt. On August 16th, it's Disney's first dive into the Alien universe with Alien Romulus. While we don't know too much just yet, it's supposedly set between the events of 1979's Alien and its 1986 sequel, Aliens, as young people from a distant world must face the most terrifying life form in the universe. It stars Kaylee Spaney and Isabella Merced. Ridley Scott is on board as producer. On August 30th, it's another Sony Spider-Verse installment, Craven the Hunter. Again, we've got another movie focused on a member of Spider-Man's rogues gallery, set years before their first battle. Aaron Taylor Johnson takes on the role of Craven, a big game hunter who wants to prove himself as the world's greatest hunter at any cost. With an R rating, it's set to offer up some brutality that has been sorely missing from some of the more recent superhero fare. It also stars Ariana DeBose and Russell Crowe. On September 6th, it's yet another long-awaited legacy sequel with Beetlejuice 2. Once again, we've got very little on this project, but we do know that Michael Keaton is returning to his fan-favourite role, the titular, obnoxious and madcap bio-exorcist from the netherworld. Tim Burton returns to direct, and Winona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara also return to their original roles, alongside franchise newcomers Jenna Ortega, Willem Dafoe, Monica Bellucci and Justin Theroux. On September 13th, Paramount Animation and Hasbro will release Transformers 1. This animated prequel movie is set to be an origin story set on Cybertron, and it's said to focus on the relationship between Optimus Prime and Megatron. The movie will star the voices of Chris Hemsworth and Brian Tyree Henry as Prime and Megatron respectively, alongside Scarlett Johansson, John Hamm, Keegan-Michael Key and Lawrence Fishburne. On September 20th, we've got another theatrical release from Apple, Wolves. From writer-director John Watts of the MCU Spidey films, this psychological thriller stars Brad Pitt and George Clooney as professional lone wolf fixers who find themselves hired for the same job. It'll also drop on Apple TV Plus soon after. On September 27th, it's the next instalment in the Saw franchise with Saw 11. There's barely any info on this one either, except that it's set to be a direct sequel to 2023's Saw 10, which was set between the first two movies in the long-running horror series. No cast is attached yet, though it'll likely return Tobin Bell to his role of Jigsaw. On October 4th, it's the long-awaited sequel to Todd Phillips' lauded comic book crime thriller, Joker Folly Adieu. Warners is keeping very tight-lipped on this one, but Joaquin Phoenix is returning to the role of Arthur Fleck, and he's joined by Lady Gaga, who's set to betray the Joker's partner in crime, Harley Quinn. Zazie Beetz also returns from the first film, Catherine Keener and Steve Coogan all joining. On October 18th, it's another horror sequel with Smile 2. Again, little is known, but it will follow the surprise 2022 hit about a woman haunted by an evil being with a deathly smile. It stars Rosemary DeWitt and Naomi Scott, with Carl Golner reprising his role as Detective Joel. On October 25th, it's another Universal Monsters picture with the latest remake of Wolfman. The movie is set to put a modern spin on the 1941 classic, which follows a man who's cursed to become a werewolf every evening when the sun goes down. But this time, the movie focuses on a family who are stalked and scared to death by a deadly predator. It stars Julia Garner and Christopher Abbott, and is directed by Lee Wanell, who previously tackled Universal's 2020 contemporary remake of The Invisible Man. 
On November 8th, Sony delivers its third Spidey Universe film of the year, the not so eagerly awaited Venom 3. The movie is set to follow Eddie Brock on his next adventure as anti-hero Venom. We have no story details yet, but you can absolutely bet it won't pay off on that post credit scene from the previous movie. Tom Hardy is back as Brock and is this time joined by Juno Temple and Chiwetel Ejiofor. Also on November 8th, the UK will receive the third Paddington movie, Paddington in Peru. This adventure sees Paddington Bear return to his homeland to visit his Aunt Lucy with the Brown family. Here they embark on an unexpected journey through the Amazon rainforest and up to the mountain peaks of Peru. On November 15th, the Prime Video launches Red One. This long-awaited holiday action comedy comes from director Jake Kasdan and stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Chris Evans, Lucy Lou and J.K. Simmons as Santa Claus. We've been told to expect an epic edge of your seat action adventure that takes beloved holiday mythology and turns it on its head. On November 22nd, Ridley Scott's long-awaited Gladiator sequel finally hits the big screen. The movie is set many years after the 2000 classic and will focus on Lucius, the nephew of Emperor Commodus. Russell Crowe isn't involved in the film in any way, but it does otherwise herald an absolutely stacked cast, including Paul Mascal as Lucius, Pedro Pascual and Denzel Washington, with Connie Nielsen returning as Lucilla. On November 27th, Warners will release Wicked Part 1, their much-awaited adaptation of the legendary Broadway musical based on L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. In this alternate look at the land of Oz, it's revealed that the Wicked Witch is actually a freedom fighter battling against the wizard for her homeland. Cynthia Arrivo plays El Faber, the Wicked Witch, while Ariana Grande performs as Glinda. Alongside them, Jeff Goldblum portrays the wizard, and Michelle Yeoh is Madame Morrible. On November 27th, Walt Disney Animation has scheduled their next animated feature film. Unusual for Disney, the movie is yet to be announced or even titled, leading to speculation that 2024 could be without an animated feature, especially following Disney's string of project delays following last year's writer's strike. One potential release could be the in-production Zootopia 2, which is said to have already had test screenings, though it's unlikely this one will be released so soon. On December 12th, we've got another Karate Kid film on the way. Ralph Macchio returns to his role of Daniel LaRusso from the original 1980s flicks and Netflix's current Cobra Kai spin-off series, and will star him alongside Jackie Chan, who reprises the role of Mr. Han from the 2010 Karate Kid reboot. On December 13th, The Lord of the Rings The War for Rohirrim hits theatres. This anime feature is set 183 years before the event chronicled in the original trilogy of films, and sees Helm, the King of Rohan, leading his people to make a daring last stand in the ancient stronghold of the Hornburg, a mighty fortress that will later come to be known as Helm's Deep. The movie features the vocal talent of Brian Cox as Helm, while Miranda Otto reprises her role of Eowyn from the live-action film series. On December 20th, Walt Disney Pictures will release Mufasa The Lion King, the prequel to their $1.6 billion earning quote-unquote live-action Lion King feature. It's said to see Simba telling the story of his father, Mufasa, to his child. And it's said to star Aaron Pierre as Mufasa, alongside Calvin Harrison Jr., Seth Rogen, Billy Eichner, and John Carney. Also on December 20th, it's Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Again, no official synopsis has been revealed, but it's confirmed that it will see the live-action debut of classic Sonic villain Shadow the Hedgehog. Ben Schwartz is expected to return to voice Sonic, while Colleen O'Shaughnessy and Idris Elba are likely to return as Tails and Knuckles, respectively. In live-action roles, James Marsden is predicted to return as Tom, though given Jim Carrey's recent retirement from acting, it's possible he won't be back for a third round as Doctor. Dr. Robotnik. On December 25th, The Northman's Robert Eggers delivers his latest epic, Nosferatu, the second remake of the 1922 German Expressionist film. The movie tells a gothic tale of obsession between a haunted young woman and the terrifying vampire infatuated with her, causing untold horror in its wake. It stars Bill Skarsgård as Count Orlok, alongside Nicholas Holt, Lily Rose Depp, 
Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Corinne, and Willem Dafoe. At Christmas time, Aardman Animation will release a new Wallace and Gromit movie, set to hit Netflix and the BBC in Britain. Nothing is known of this project yet, but it'll be the second feature to continue the adventures of Aardman's Hallmark characters, who first debuted in 1989. Likewise, the first in a line of upcoming Spongebob spin-off movies from Nickelodeon, Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie, is expected to hit Netflix at some point in the year. As Bikini Bottom and all its denizens are suddenly scooped out of the ocean, Sandy Cheeks and Spongebob Squarepants journey to Texas to save the town from a villainous plot. It stars Carolyn Lawrence, Tom Kenny and the rest of the regular Spongebob crew. And at that, that is all of the biggest movies headed our way in 2024. As always, join the conversation down below and let me know what you are most and least excited to check out this year.